Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Don Holy. On this channel, I purposely talk about education in Ghana, how to apply, and other scholarship opportunities both in and outside the country. So if this is your kind of content, please do me the honor, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notification, but start to get notified anytime I release a new video. In this video, I'm specifically going to talk about teacher training college. I'm going to align some rules and some things that you need to understand before you apply for the teacher training college. So if you do not understand these things very well, pick up my number and ask for further explanation. Applying to the school without having knowledge of all these things is going to be one of the biggest mistakes you'd ever make in your life. I have been guiding students for the past three to four years now and I know what I'm talking about. So if you don't have the needed information from the right sources, it will be detrimental to you if you continue with this program. If you apply for school this year, Pick up my number. I sell the forms myself, either military training college, university, any of the tertiary form, or any of the service form, either being soldier, immigration, Ghana fire service, or any of them. I sell them. So pick up my number, contact me, and then I'll guide you through. Okay. So now let's dive deep into the video now. Teacher training college, most people are going because of peer pressure and pressure from their parents. Because you complete school, your friends are going to school. You have not gone to school yet, so you are feeling some way. The only opportunity for you to go is to go in for the teacher training college. Meanwhile, your heart is not there. You meet a lot of teachers, you ask them, they'll be like, no. My parents said there's no money in the house, so I should go in for teacher training college. So I went in for teacher training college. Are you really going to be happy with a job? That's the first question you ask yourself. If not, sit your parents down and talk them out. Because this is the life matter. This is the career you're going to pick for the rest of your life. Call your teachers, ask them, say, what are the challenges of becoming a teacher? What are the things I need to know before I can apply to become a teacher? Because they have been in the system for a very long time, so they can better educate you. So what I think they will tell you is that the salary is not good. Truly, truly, the salary is not good as compared to other professions. Even though, personally, I believe teachers should be paid the most. Because without a teacher, there is no doctor. Without a teacher, there is no lawyer. Without a teacher, there is no president. Without a teacher, there is no president. There is no MP. But then, these are the MPs that make the law and they determine the salary of people. Yet still, uh, they don't pay that much. Meanwhile, without the, those teachers in the system, there won't be any other profession. Yet, their salary is no good. After they've taken their, ta uh, their taxes, they've taken some other deduction based on the organization which they are, what remain is just something small for them to take home, which is very, very difficult for them to um, use to do something. So it takes, a, it takes them a very long period of time to do certain things. So call your teachers, ask them, what are the difficulties in the, teacher, in the teaching field? You've seen teachers gone on strike several occasions, which means that their, salary has, their salaries have not been paid. So why venture into it if your heart is not there? One, the first thing you should consider is, do you have passion and love for kids? Because some students can be very, very stubborn. If you don't have passion and love for them, trust me, you will kill them with kids. Yes, so now the education service said they shouldn't kill students. So if you kill them and they report to you, it means that you're in trouble. So consider all these things. Do self-assessment tests on yourself. Probably after senior high school, if you have the opportunity to teach in any of the private schools, you have had an experience of, oh, these kids are like this way. Can I handle them? No, if you can't, don't do it. If you know you are not a type that can impart knowledge, do not apply for teacher training college. Now let's take it a step further. Let's take a look at the programs at various teacher training colleges in the country and how you can go about it. You have three different programs at the various teacher training colleges. Once one, you contact me, be like, I want to offer social studies, but I can't see social studies on a portal. No, we don't have social studies on a portal. We don't have English on a portal. We don't have integrated science on a portal. We have different things on the port. I have three segments, okay? We have early childhood education, primary education, um, JHS education, and technical education, okay? So if you want to go in for JHS education, which means you're going to teach at a JHS level. If you're not the type that likes, okay, if you're not the type that likes disturbance from kids, but you have passion for imparting knowledge, you want to teach, I would advise you go in for the JHS education. When it comes to early childhood education, it means that they're coming to deal with the kindergarten, that is KG and the nursery. I think from primary one to primary three is also part, okay? So you will be put in that range if in case you offer early childhood education. Then for the upper primary, that is those who went to offer primary education, that will be from class four to class six. 
and those who are offering the JHS education will go in for from JHS 1 to JHS 3 and then there are some specifications here I'm coming let me explain further then those who go for him for the technical education they are the vocational courses so you have to go and teach pre-technical skills in any of the institutions that have been placed now if you pick jhs education it's not every institution that do the program you want to go and offer okay you pick jhs education and you are going for let's say akashi college of education akashi college of education is a science related or it says it's built on science okay so they do more of science i think one of the best schools when it comes to science education in a country they offer other programs i think social studies rme and other programs as well so you have to verify from the school first that the program i want to go and offer if i'm going to want to go and read social studies and become a social studies teacher is this school offering social studies if you do not make those background investigations and then you just apply for the school and you went maybe you want to reach social studies and you went to the school and so the school is not offering social studies then it basically means that you have to pick a different course or you join yourself from the school and there are other combinations as well based on some schools and the schools they are affiliated to if a school is affiliated to let's say um Winneba, they major in one subject and minor in one you see see majors in or oh, those who are affiliated to uh university of ghana Ligon. The major in all so if you apply to picky college of education you are going to pick two subjects okay if it is science and math you pick science and math and you major in them the two pairs will be more explained to you when you go into the school and join the orientation process they will explain to you the combination we have so uh, you can do ict and math ict and science you can do math and science uh math and ict integrated science and ict or the combinations are there okay so when you get to the school they would explain it to you further or if you want to have an understanding of it pick up my number and contact me and so if you apply to akashi college of education which is affiliated to uew you are going to pick two subjects minor in one and major in one when you apply to Peking college of education you are going to pick two subjects but are going to major in both of them which means that any institution you have been posted to you can teach any of the two subjects provided you don't have the subject teacher for that two subjects if you don't have the subject teacher for those two subjects it means that you are who is going to handle all those two subjects if you have it for one then you divide into one if in case you are you have majored in let's say integrated science and a minor in mathematics and you went to a school whereby they already have integrated science then you have to go in for the mathematics instead okay and then there are other things to consider as well you know education in ghana is very expensive but research training college is a little bit okay because there are some subsidies from the government that comes in to pay some of your fees so you don't pay as huge as the, those that have gone for the universities and in a research training college if you apply and you're in a school you don't pay for hostel fees the hostel fee is included in your admission fee and they have feeding fee in this as well so if you don't have much money you can prepare about probably about six thousand or five thousand which should take care of two academic years which will be for level 100 and level 200 then level 300 level 400 you think of how you pay those fees okay but then if you want to apply i would advise you look for some amount of money that can sustain you for a very long time because if you are going to take care of yourself and then you realize that no I don't have a, a job in the house that after school i can come back home work and some money go back to school then i'd advise you relax and at least have in your hand about five thousand six thousand or seven thousand because last year those who went to school paid three thousand close three thousand two thousand nine hundred seventy one gonna say sixty five pesos that was a fee for last academic year or those who went for school last year so looking at that probably maybe we don't know that school fees for this very year would increase so if in case it doesn't increase then you prepare for that if you prepare about six thousand means that's for two years then your pamphlets and your other things that you buy to school so you look for some money for them and then we see how we can go about that okay if you complete teacher training college you're receiving a degree if you go for any of the educational program at the university school, you take degree so the difference between these two degrees is the level at which you teach if you want for a teacher training college they'll train you to teach at the basic level which is primary jhs or early grade okay so you cannot go and teach at the shs level but then if you want to teach at the shs level you can upgrade it into m field okay when you want to go and do your masters you can do m field in shs education and pick a subject okay so you can do m field in um let's say chemistry biology with such secondary school education so you come and teach at a secondary school 
okay but then if you go to the university to do any of the educational program you'll be posted to teach at the secondary schools we have in the country any of them the portal will be, will be open you apply and then they post it to a school based on the region you've chose to work okay they post you there to start your work that's all about the posting and upgrading system okay you can upgrade to become a lawyer you can even decide to leave the field at any time and then at this time since college of education is given um degree straight there's nothing like study leave with pay initially you have study leave with pay for those who have, have offered diploma and they want to upgrade into a degree so you apply for study leave with pay go to school and they will pay you whilst you are in whilst you are schooling your salary will keep on coming if they increase the salary it will increase so you have you'll be schooling and they'll be paying you as well but now they have cancelled that due to the introduction of the degree at the teacher training college okay so this is what is supposed to know about this part as well so let's move on life in training college is just like life in secondary school okay seniors will punish you you have to do it you go for a dining you have to be on time like when your environment is bushy they have to with it, they are going to live a life just like senior high school. The only difference here is that here is a higher institution, so the certain things you do at teacher training college that you have not done at basic school. For one, you use mobile phone in school, you can even take a mobile phone to the lecture hall, just that you put the phone on silence so that it does not interrupt the class. Okay, some lectures will take the phone from you in case the phone is interrupting the class or disrupting the class. Okay. And then you can take a laptop to school. It's good if you take one to school because it will save you a lot of money. As the project works and the group work that they will be giving to you, a lot of typing, you don't have to be going to the school's cafe to get me wasting a lot of money printing out these very documents before you submit. If you have to be doing that, then it means that your pocket has to be loaded, which means that by the time you complete school, all the money you will be using for all those things can even buy your laptop. So it's better you get a laptop for yourself, probably. If you can afford the brand new one, just buy some um, home use library use at least 600 series, 700 series, you can get one for yourself and take to the school. It will be a very good help to you. So if you have been able to watch the video to this point, I believe you've now understood how the child training college system works. Okay, there's one thing to there's something we call STS, where you go for teaching outreach program every week, or depending on the school, okay? So you go and then you go and observe your mentors teach at the various basic levels and then when you come back you come and write your portfolio you come and write your observations and all that and submit for the lecture to read through give you max based on whatever you have observed whatever you have learned when you go to the school and again because of the introduction of the degree system you have to go in for internship first when you reach level 400 okay you're going for internship first when you reach level 400 then after level 400 you go and do your national service write the licensure exams and then you'll be posted to teach at any of the basic schools in the country all right so i think you've now understood everything the video has been made clear if you want to buy any of the forms pick up my number contact me and i'll send a form for you fill it for you and do every other thing you need to know before you get the admission and go to school this is the first time we are coming across my channel. Do me the turn on post notification button so to get notified anytime I release a new video. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. My name still remains Don Holy.